You're probably wondering, what is physician coaching anyway? What does it involve? How can it help me? How do I pick a coach? So those are some of the things that I want to talk about with you today. And I actually feel pretty well qualified to answer these questions because I've seen the benefits of coaching in the over 500 physicians and physician leaders I've had the pleasure of coaching over the last 13 years. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Gail Gazelle. I'm here in Boston, faculty at Harvard Medical School. I've written three books. Uh, the last one is Mindful MD, Six Ways Mindfulness Restores Your Autonomy and Cures Healthcare Burnout. And as a pioneer in the field of physician coaching, I've been quoted in many places like the Wall Street Journal, NPR, CNN, Medical Economics, and more. And how did we get to this point with so many physicians struggling with burnout? Well over 50%, and it's not like the other 50% are exactly happy or thriving, are they? You probably know what I'm talking about. It's really something being a physician in the modern healthcare world where there's so much uncertainty, so much change, and so much external control that has been wrested from all of us. You know how many demands there are, how it feels like the work never ends, the care and feeding of the electronic health record, patients, 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 more patients to see on what is typically an overscheduled, overburdened clock. The inbox, the ever full inbox, so many demands on your time, and it's not like it ends at the end of the workday, right? That whole thing about pajama time, ha, 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 eroding your precious time to be home, recovering from the stresses of work. And yet the work is always there and always nagging at you. Those are the external demands, but let's actually go further and think about the internal demands and pressures, the inner critic, that sense of being an imposter, of never being enough, comparing yourself to others and always focusing not on where you're doing well, but on where you perceive you're coming up short. The things that we learned in our medical training, that if we weren't perfect, we'd be judged a failure and thrown under the bus, right? To always be the invulnerable, ever knowing, you know, paragon, captain of the team, even when we had vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Being up at night, ruminating, having arguments with your administrator or someone else who actually isn't there when you need that precious sleep. This is what our lives are like. And we didn't learn in our training how to master our minds. And yet we can. So this is where physician coaching comes in. It's a dynamic, highly individualized process that's gonna take you from where you are now to where you want to be. It's about who you are now, not so much about who you are in the past, but who you want to be, that bright future that I know is possible for you. It's very different than therapy. Therapy, we focus on the past. We do a lot of talking and retelling about difficulties that we've had. Coaching conversations are very different than in therapy. They're more focused on the learnings, the takeaways, the aha moments that a good coach can help you have. It's sometimes said that therapy is the trail of tears and coaching is the trail of dreams. And that tells you something about the forward momentum that we're always achieving in good coaching. It's about self-awareness. That's what it's, you know, it's the same substrate as therapy. It's about you and how you operate in the world and how you respond to the difficulties that you face. But it's really about results. It's about self-awareness and self-discovery in the service of change and results. A good coach doesn't sit there telling you what to do. They don't give you advice specifically, but they do help you solve your problems by having the right questions, the right reflections, pointing you in the right direction, bringing in the resources that you need to build the efficacy, the building blocks of successful and sustainable change. So what are the benefits of expert coaching, well, they are nothing short of profound. They're life changing, not just career changing, but specifically, they help you feel a sense of confidence, a sense of mastery. They help you 
work with your own ruminating mind and all the thoughts and stories and narratives and worries and fears and preoccupations that our minds can really be full of and can totally weigh us down. You become more present. You learn how to leave work at work so you can actually enjoy the life that you've been spending so much time building and achieving. You can be more present with your loved ones and feel less guilt for times in the past when you haven't been mentally present, even when you're physically at home. You gain really the ability, the autonomy that we can all have, the inner autonomy over ourselves. We spend a lot of time in coaching working on patterns of reactivity that we certainly didn't learn how to manage in med school and you gain mastery over your own emotions so you know that what comes out of your mouth is always going to be professional and not ever going to be taken lightly or against you. That's what I want for you. Those are the benefits that I've seen. I've seen many clients get promotions that they didn't expect, move to jobs that were beyond their dreams, have better relationships, not just with their coworkers, peers, and administrators, but very importantly, with the people who matter most, the loved ones, family, friends, and community. I've helped clients realize all kinds of dreams about themselves, hobbies that they wanted to explore, maybe a musical instrument that they wanted to start doing, avenues of creativity, time for self-care like good healthy eating habits, exercise, and enough sleep. All of this is what you can achieve in coaching. So let's move now to what you can expect in coaching. Well, I wanna be clear, you're going to be stretched. You're going to be pushed in ways that you probably haven't been before that are going to help you reach your goals. I touched on this a little earlier in the video, but you can expect for the coach to ask you a lot of provocative questions, questions that's, that make you pause and ponder and think to yourself, gosh, I've never thought of it that way. That's what a good coach can do. I've seen so many coaches that I've mentored do a lot of the three T's, telling, talking, and teaching. And that's not what good coaching is. We adults learn by having insights into ourselves, insights that we create on our own, not when some bright person tells us what they should be. I've seen that over and over and over. What you can also expect in coaching is to be inspired. Your coach is your advocate, your champion, your ally. They're the ones who know you can get to the top of that hill, even when it feels like you're struggling and the boulder is kind of collapsing upon you. That's the allyship and support and the pushing that you are going to get in our coaching, myself and from my team. You're going to come out of this transformed, the same you, but a happier version, a healthier version, a version of you that has a great sense of command, whether you're becoming a leader and moving up that ladder, which we've seen with many of our clients, or whether you're staying in the position that you're in, but better situated to thrive within whatever challenging circumstances you're experiencing. This is what I want for you and what I know is possible. Please take a look at the many testimonials so that you don't have to believe me. You can see what our clients have achieved. This is what's possible. And this is what you deserve to have.